Yes, Zarski. What's poppin', everybody? Hope you're having a super blessed day. And welcome back to Shark Sports. And we are back with y'all's favorite series, five star versus one star. The series where we find the real talent difference between a five star recruit and a one star recruit. So jumping straight into it, let me first introduce you guys to today's one star wide receiver coming out of Eatonville High School, Job Crowley. Job is a 5'11 and a half, 170 pound receiver who is the 47th best player in Washington and the 247th best receiver in the country. And in his junior year, he had 34 receptions for 833 yards and eight touchdowns averaging 24 and a half yards a catch and today he is going up against today's five-star wide receiver coming out of bishop gorman high school zachariah branch zachariah is a 5'10 172 pound wide receiver who is the best player in nevada the number one wide receiver in the country and the sixth best recruit in the class of 2023 and in his junior year he had 48 receptions for 1094 yards and 14 touchdowns averaging 22.8 yards a catch now real quick before we find out the difference between the five-star and one-star receiver i want to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor campus the canton guys the fantasy football season is just around the corner and if you guys love fantasy football as much as i do campus the canton is going to be the best new way for you guys to be playing your fantasy football campus the canton finally brings over the college football world into the fantasy football game with campus the canton you can roster two teams your college team and your pro team and the dope thing is is when your college recruits finally make it to the nfl they're already going to be on your team so you can pick up a guy like jamar chase's sophomore year at lsu and when when he goes and keeps on balling out as soon as he reaches the pros you already got him on your team so you already got a wide receiver one on top of that they give you access to the most in-depth analytics and articles that help you guys win your fantasy leagues and stay on top of all the news in the fantasy football world so guys go check out campus Canton. it's the best new way to be playing your fantasy football and when you guys are ready to sign up use code sharp to save 10 percent off of your first purchase all right let's jump straight into it and see what the real talent difference is between a five-star receiver and a one-star receiver three two one Psh. All right, let me first put y'all on to Zachariah Branch, our five-star wide receiver today, because if you don't know, you should already know, but this dude is literally, I've said it many times before, he is literally Tyreek Hill reincarnated. He's got football speed to the nth degree. This dude is the fastest, to me, he's the fastest player in all of high school football right now, like football speed. There might be some other dudes who are track speed a little bit faster than him, not many, but literally, when it comes to football speed, pads on, everything, I don't think anybody's faster than him. And he's going to USC too. Oh man, it's, it's a good day. Ooh, I mean, look at the change of direction. Literally sprints out to the side at almost a perfect 90 degree. Pop. Nope, got him. Just gone. Absolutely gone. Shows off the wheels a little bit. Take off on him. And his ability to change direction while maintaining his speed is nuts. This is one of those dudes, yeah, you just got to get the ball in his hands and he's just going to make something good happen. Cut back. Outrun everybody. Just keep on outrunning everybody. Keep on outrunning everybody and gone. This is one of those dudes where it's like he's just playing at his own speed. Like literally nobody's catching him. Slow down. Gone. Gone. Just literally it's just, hey, can the quarterback throw it far enough? I'm excited to see what him and Malachi Nelson can do. Yeah, I mean, just look at the speed. He's just moving at a whole different... I mean, look at this dude. Where is he at? This dude right here is literally right there. And then he just pulls away from him. Pulls away from him. And it just... Effortless speed. Effortless speed. Got him in the slot. <laughs> this corner even played it right. He even played it right. He just bailed and they still split that. Normally that would normally that would be a pick, but when you're that fast, you just hit the hole quicker than the defense can react. Ankles. I always wonder what it would feel like to be that fast. Like when you run in like low four fours, four threes, those are some great blocks down down at the bottom of the screen. When you're running those low four fours, the high four threes, like what does that feel like when you just you just flying out there? I mean, look at the explosiveness off the off the route. Give me that. Get the running, get the stepping, get the stepping. Gone. Just gone. Any daylight, he's taking that to the crib every single time. All right, so now that you've seen what a five-star receiver looks like, now let's see what a one-star receiver in Job Crowley's looking like. So he's technically not a one-star receiver, so the 24-7 composite rankings doesn't have him ranked, and then 24-7 sports has him ranked as a three-star, so technically he's about a two-star receiver, but 
he's the lowest ranked receiver. Give me that. Go up behind high point at one time. But he's the lowest ranked receiver in I was able to find. Nope, get him up off you. Get to sliding. Get to stepping on him. Okay, he's, he's got some wheels of his own. Oh, just, oh, way to way to tiptoe the sideline. Okay, that corner played that terribly, by the way. So he's more of a bursty player. I, I could tell, like, once he gets to his top speed, he's moving. It just it takes him a little bit, but like he he he's got speed and bursts. How many block punts did he have? Jeez. Or blocked field goals, I mean. Yeah, he, he's definitely he's definitely got some speed. There you go. Dive out for it. So I would like to see him work on his release a little bit. When normally when you see guys who are this fast, they don't really work on their releases that well because they're just like. I'm just gonna outrun the guy. Especially when, when you're already off to the to the short side. You're on the long side of the field, but you're on the hash mark. You gotta, if, especially if you're trying to fade to the outside, you gotta you gotta give yourself some space. So I think a hard sell to the inside, like you're running a slant at the beginning, would help. Cause when you're that fast, if you also know how to release up the ball really well, it's just gonna get you that much more open. But hey, he's doing a good job of high pointing these passes. A little misdirection. I don't know what it is. It looks like he's not moving that fast, but he actually is. I think it's I think he just needs to lengthen his strides a little bit. Hit the wheel route, he wasn't paying attention. There you go. Easy walk-in touchdown. Okay, he looks like he's moving right there. Okay, nice, nice little snap down, okay. So that is what the difference is between a five-star wide receiver in Zachariah Branch versus a one-star receiver in Job Kralik. I think the easiest thing to see up front is just the play speed. I mean, Job is a quicker player for a high school recruit, but Zachariah Branch is on a whole nother level when it comes to the speed. I also think just the overall understanding of the receiver position, I think Zachariah understands that a little bit better as far as releases and really setting guys up, being able to snap your route off. That's something that Job, I, I would be working on is your releases, especially being a quicker player. If you're able to turn that quickness into shiftiness as well, and you're able to start getting cleaner releases off the line where you could really start beating the corner for a yard or two of separation off the line, then your speed's gonna be even expounded that much more because if you're able to get one to two yards of separation off the line and then you you get another one to two yards of separation off of your speed, now you're just giving, you're just playing pitch and catch with the with the quarterback. I definitely will put Job in that two to three star-ish range as a wide receiver. I would have him going to like low level D1 to FCS level schools. Cause there you put him in the slot, you also put him back in the little punt and punt and kick return game. He could be a really solid weapon for that team. But like I said, Job, if you keep on developing your route running and your releases and you continue to perfect that side of playing wide receiver, you're going to be getting so much more separation. And honestly, you could turn yourself into a really dominant slot receiver. I don't know from y'all, comment down below what you guys think was the biggest difference between the five-star wide receiver, Zachariah Branch, versus our one-star receiver, Job Kralik. Alrighty, y'all, be sure to leave this video a like, also comment down below what position you guys want to see me cover next in the five-star versus one-star series. And be sure to hit that subscribe button. We are on the road to 300,000 subscribers. And if this is not the first one of my videos you've seen, definitely hit that subscribe button. And with all that being said, I love and appreciate all y'all. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Ciao.